What's good, everybody? Welcome to this very special episode today. It's your boy Reg here. Got my peace with me, Mike, Try and Ash. What's goody? What up? What up? All right, so this was kind of something I had Got under the piece. wraps for a little bit, but July, I mean, June 25th, 2009, we lost to Legend. We lost Michael Joseph Jackson. So with the recent controversies that's been going on with his legacy, with that bullshit documentary, nobody's really trying to celebrate him or they're just trying to like scrutinize his name more. So I thought what a better way to celebrate his legacy than today. And I thought we should talk about one of my favorite albums from him, which is um, the Dangerous album from 91. <clears throat> Yeah. So um, how did y'all get into um, that album or Michael Jackson in general and shit? Oh, man, I would have prepared. I thought it was like a Michael Jackson discography or something. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't know you were doing the review for it, though. I, I don't know this album like that. Well, I got to revisit that shit. Oh, we can just talk about MJ in general. No, we just, yeah, we just talk, talking about his stuff in general. Like, oh, okay, because it said dangerous. You think it said dangerous, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yeah, we can just talk about his shit. I, I'm going to make an edit right quick. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Like, but, nigga. but you 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 good, Mike. Right? You good. You good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got on Michael Jackson early on, man. You know what I mean? Like before a nigga could even comprehend what music was, I seen the thriller video. You know what I mean? Yeah. It had to be 90, 89, 90 or some shit. And uh I was like, just whoa, what the fuck? You know, that shit's crazy. Turning into the werewolf and all that wild shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then uh like ninety, Jesus, ninety four, maybe my uh, my mom's boyfriend at the time made me the a best of Michael Jackson mix, like on one of the uh, ninety minute Memorex tapes. Like I know Chris knows what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, yeah, man. And it was like everything. The, the Jacksons, not that early Jacksons. I'm not a fan of no. Jackson Five. I'm more a fan of a, a Triumph and um, you know, yeah. Victory. You know, niggas hate Victory and uh, oh, you know, Destiny. Destiny, shit like that, along with like you know, off the wall, um, thriller, bad, dangerous, all that shit was on there, and I took that tape with me everywhere. And the year prior, the I mean, the year after, I should say, uh, I started getting his albums, like the full length albums on cassette. And from there, man, MJ's one of my favorites. I, I you know, him and Prince, I like the niggas that really made me love music. This is before hip hop, before metal. Mm-hmm. And you know, MJ fan ever since, man. Just like uh, the dude is just incredible. I'm more of a fan of like I don't know his earlier albums. Like to me, since the age of fucking ten, I thought Off the Wall was his first album. I, I never knew that he had the other joints. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. But I, I I can't get into no band or nothing like that. Not to discredit the man's <laughs> legacy, but you know, I'm more of a fan of Mike from like '79, '91. You know what I mean? Okay. But, uh, yeah, and even after that, like '95 with the history record, but uh, yeah, so I got an MJ really. That's a dope story, my my nigga. Good looking. For me, I got into MJ like right when Thriller came out. You know, I was born in '78, and right when Thriller came out, and and the very first video I ever saw was was the Beat It video, and it was like um, you know. When when I could comprehend what a what a, a video was at that time, the videos were still new, and when they showed it, it was like nothing I ever seen before. Like this this you know black guy, you know in a red leather jacket, you know moonwalking, and and you know he was God to me then. You know what I'm saying this is not even when Bad came out or Dangerous or any of the other albums. He was just, just looking at that video. He was God to me then. You know, never seen no shit like that. And and you know when Thriller came out. I was in kindergarten and, and, you know, on every Friday we would play uh, musical cheers. And I had a teacher that she, um, you know, she would play the Thriller album and Purple Rain and like, you know, all the big popular songs from the 80s and stuff. And I used to tell her like, yo, like when we play, when we play musical cheers, like I wanted to play the whole Thriller album because that's how much I loved it. You know, every song, you know, and, and you know, that was, that was my introduction to music, that was my introduction to him, like, right, you know, I heard stories, like, my mom used to tell me stories about the Jackson 5, and, 
know, she she saw them when she was younger. But I don't know him from that era. I know him from from Thriller and everything after that. So that was that was like God to me then and you know, um he was he was, he was just unbelievable, you know what I'm saying? So that was my introduction to him. Hey, yo, Chris. Yeah. Did your teacher play Donald and Nikki when y'all were playing musical chess? <laughs> nah, she she didn't play that. Like she 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 would play like Let's Go Crazy and um she would play the um Purple Rain. She didn't play none of the like the the racy tracks though. Oh yeah. It was like Donald and Nikki and Computer Love. She didn't play none of uh, Computer Blue. I'm not, she didn't play I'm none of that. that. I'm not to that scene. I know, oh, right? It's, <laughs> but I, but you see, but but you see, like like me being the only child, like. I always had that freedom, so it was like I was the only one in in class that that listened to Purple Rain. You know, it's like the other yeah, kids yeah. couldn't couldn't see the movie or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But you know, like my mom, she's a big Prince fan, so she saw the movie. I saw the movie. You know what I'm saying? So that that was my introduction to Prince too. Like you know, the, when Purple Rain dropped and when Thriller came out, so that was like the some of the best you know memories as a, as a music fan. You know, in, in in the 80s. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got into MJ when um, well, because my mom she got the the Invincible album back in '01, <clears throat> and she would play that either a lot of, a lot around the house or in the car if we go like to certain places or go on road trips to see my grandma or whatever, and, and my introduction um to and like some of his other stuff like i got um his off the wall album i got the thrill thriller 25th anniversary um album i got dangerous and i got um some of his posthumous stuff as well as um the michael album and escape and also got the, um, the history album as well okay okay yeah. for me um mm -hmm. I can't remember the exact moment I first discovered Michael Jackson move um, music, but I remember how like my dad had a few of his latter albums on this, in this collection. And one of the albums that caught my attention was Dangerous and shit, where it had a fucking mask and it all had all those weird animated figures on that shit. And then, um, of course, around that time, too, Rush Hour was popular movie and Chris Tucker would always do that Michael Jackson routine in every one of them Rush Hour movies and shit. So it wasn't until the first video I saw from him was the um, a performance he did of Don't Stop Till You Get Enough, that video he did and shit like that, excuse me, and shit. And I was like a fan since. I was like, yeah, this dude has real talent. Like, dude, I can understand why the guy has like a lot of cultural impact throughout the years and stuff like that, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so um so what's your favorite albums and shit, like favorite songs, memories or whatever? Man, it's cliche as fuck. My favorite Mike album gotta be thriller, man. It gotta be thriller. With, with bad as like bad is right in the cusp of that. You know, for me, for me. But then off the wall too, like those three albums is like those are his like he got three magnum opposites, this nigga right here. You know what I mean? Right. And I like damn near every song on all three of them, but Thriller is just like perfect from beginning to end. Like, you know, I'm more of a fan of the deep cut at this time. Like, Baby Be Mine, that is my shit. Yes. That's probably my second first song on the album. Then after that, oh, it's so good. My favorite is Human Nature, though. Like, Human Nature is like, oh, oh, that is. Oh, that's oh. another one of my favorites. Yeah, man, that's probably my favorite song of all time from MJ, man. And um, nothing like sitting back, vibing to that shit, smoking. I like doing that. Um, you know, PYT, that, that's amazing. That is amazing, man. My uncle had the 45 of PYT. I played it so many times. I'm like, play that shit. Play that shit again. Play it again, you know? And uh, yeah, man. If I had to pick like a top five MJ songs, that'd be hard as fuck. But, uh, Top of my head, human nature, right? I gotta go with that. Um, Librarian girl, man, I love librarian girl. Ooh. Yeah, I like I like riding out to that, driving to that shit, man. That shit is fire. Windows down, the shit blowing through your hair, my nigga. You know, you know the type of time I'm on right now, yo. That's that shit, oh, yeah. right? Right. Yeah. 
Uh, number three, I, I would have to go with the. Uh, I can't help it, man. That that shit is crazy. You know I love it. Mean? That shit is crazy. Hell yeah. Your mic. Yo yo. If you like I, that song, um, Stevie Wonder actually has like um a live studio version on YouTube. I'll probably send you the link in a minute. Yeah yeah, I seen that shit. Oh I okay. Yup. Fire shit. For real. Then like the last two, that like, shit, it could change any fucking day, but uh, I gotta throw PYT in there, man. I, don't know, I like that song so much. Yeah. And then I would throw in uh, Dirty Diana because that shit is hard. I love it. I love that man. Yeah, man. The guitar riffs, the fucking the way Mike sang on that shit, man. Fire. Yeah. 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 I, I don't want to take over the whole show because I'll be here forever. So I'll let y'all niggas get in. <laughs> yeah, man. I'll have to say Off the Wall is my favorite album, believe it or not. I just felt like, You said what? I love that. I ain't mad at that. Yeah, I just felt like like that album right there, there's no filler whatsoever. A lot of people want to say, oh, it's too disco-ish. And I was like, well, you know what, man? Fuck it. At times it was disco, but it still had that funk. It mm -hmm. still had that soul. So equated and shit like that. Um, I can't help it, like Mike said, being a favorite track of mine. I personally love the title track, too, Off the Wall. I feel like that track gets a lot of play and shit like that. Did y'all ever see the documentary mm -hmm. for that album? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. That was good. That was dope and shit. It came with my off the wall CD that I got. It's just beautiful. Yeah, I might I might need to get a DVD on that shit because I think I had it. I had like it all on download at one point, but I think I deleted it by accident. I was like, "Fuck." Oh, I've been there, Rich. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um. Yeah. Then of course, like Thriller, Thriller, right, man? That album right there is so sick. Like. What else can be said about that fucking album? Like Billy Jean, wanna wanna be starting something, um, baby be mine, human nature, the lady in my life. Oh my mm. god, that song is dope. Oh. Yeah. Um, what else? What else? Um the bad album, I I to be honest, bad kind of grew on me in recent years. Yeah. Yeah. Cause there was when I first heard Bad, I, I got to admit, I thought it was good, but I didn't think it was that great at first. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Y'all be surprised because it was like certain songs like, I just can't stop loving you. I can't stand that first. Oh, and, I just, oh, but now oh. I love it. That's crazy, now I love bitch. it. Now, now I love it. <laughs> what was that other song? Believe, believe it or not, that one song, Um, another part of me at first, I couldn't stand at first. Oh, wow. Yeah. Goodness. Yeah, but I, again, now it grew on me and shit like that. But I've always preferred dangerous over bad, to be real. Mm. Wow, oh, that's, I never. Wow. Yeah, like, like that was like the first MJ album I, I heard fully, and just like and him rapping, I mean, singing over the Teddy Riley shit, beatboxing, rapping at times, having Heavy D on the fucking album, um, just. It was just a fucking ill album and shit like that. And it's kind of crazy how now that album's getting a, a lot more praise recently because, you know, of the whole th shit that's happening today, you know, you know, with racial harmony, you know, corrupt politicians, um, like a lot of shit that's going on in that album and when it's going on today and shit like that, you know, fuck it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I've got a lot of stories on... I th I I start with with Thriller. I remember when when the music video came out for Thriller. It was it was I, I think it was in the summertime, I believe. And um I used to, you know, being the only child, I used to like spend a lot of um a lot of time with my my grandparents and like when my mom was working, you know, after work she would uh she would uh, get off work and um and uh, pick me up and then you know uh we go back to um to the house. I'll go back to the house with her, but um I remember it was me and my little cousin, and we were watching. Um, there used to be a video show back in the day on NBC called Friday Night Videos. It was a Friday night. They were premiered on Friday Night Videos, and yo, I, when we got back to her to her house and we was watching it, and this is it's a thunderstorm out as well, and and we watching the video and and like yo, the minute that Michael turned to Ola Ray and he started changing like turning into the werewolf. Me and my cousin, like, 
ran to the kitchen underneath the table. <laughs> I, I did not see that. I showed you. I, I yo, I was terrified of that video for years, yo. And then my oh. mom, my, my mom ended up oh. buying it on on home video, and just like looking at the the original home video for anybody that had it, it was all it, it had like the um the picture with him, you know, um and the zombies. And I could not look at that, even though the cover of the home video was was creepy to me. I could not watch it for years. That shit yeah. terrified me. But it was so <laughs> dope because it, it was it was nothing like a, like a, like again nothing like Michael was an innovator when it came to like his videos. Like nobody was doing the type of videos he was doing. You know whether it was Beat It or Billy Jean or, or Thriller, and he was just in a different in a different zone. And and you know. But when you're watching a video like that, like five, six years old, that shit is is terrifying. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't a fan of horror movies back then either. So it was like, you know, but but I I I still watched it because it was like, you know, like, you know, when when he when he's doing like the like the zombie the, the zombie walk and then he turns around and he's back to normal and then he's he's singing and then he's dancing with them. That shit was so dope. It's like I've never seen nothing like that ever. And and that shit scared me for years though, but um, that 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 album, man. That album is is the, like my favorite album of all time because it, it just brings back so many, you know, memories, you know. And it was like in heavy rotation for me, you know. Like you know, on the weekends when my when my mom would be cleaning the house, and she throw on she throw on records on the record player. That was like one of the albums that she would throw on. It was like heavy in my rotation at you know five six years old. You know, it'd be that it'd be Madonna's Like a Virgin, it'd be uh, Purple Rain, you know, and and I, I I never get tired of playing that album. You know what I'm saying? Nine songs and all of them are classic. You know, and, and um he was just on a different planet to me, you know what I'm saying? Did y'all ever see this? Yeah. Yeah, you showed me that. I don't I don't that's the only yeah, yeah. Michael album I don't have. I don't have it off the wall. Oh I, I got off the I only got off the wall, but you only see his feet, man. Yeah, that's the one I got too. That shit is oh, fire. This? I need to get that. that oh, this one right here? Yeah, that's that's the one I got, man. Hold on, I got I gotta show y'all something now. All right, and, and I showed y'all the original bad cover was supposed to be. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. See, what's that? that? What's see, that? I got the other version, the special edition one. They don't have that. That's shit right there. Yeah, that's fine. You got you oh. got the wait. You got the book. Yeah, this is autobiography. Oh. That's yeah. That's dope. Oh wow. I had a, I had a um. There was a book I had back in the '80s. It was like a, like a I don't know if, I don't know what kind of book it was, but it was like like pictures of him and like um you'd be like at dinner with like Macaulay Culkin and shit and Webster. Oh God! Oh wow! Yeah, I don't, I don't I don't I don't I know it was like all red. It was like a red thin thin like book and it had like different pictures of him and, and his brother and when they went on the victory tour and shit. But I don't have that one no more. Yeah, and Mike, I got the 25th anniversary of Thriller. I got that. Yeah, my little brother got yeah. that shit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's, the, it's like, real the, good too. The OG bad right here. It's the OG bad. Yeah, yeah I got the OG bad as well. Yeah, I, I got a special edition one too. <clears throat> and then Regis favorite. Got dangerous. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Love, love yeah. dangerous. Classic. Wow, we all got dangerous. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. That's that's been yeah. one of my favorites. Yeah, I got invincible and invincible, the cover of it is green. <laughs> oh, yes, it's green. Yeah, mine oh, is shit. Great. mine is great. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of cover. Oh, wow. of colors to the covers and shit. Yeah, yeah. There's a sticker that says available for a limited time, only five collectible CD CD covers. So my mom got one of the collectible CD covers of this. Yeah. <clears throat> I never seen that before. Yeah, it's one of the five collectible CD covers with this. So this is one of them. So I don't know what other colors. So my, they mine have. is great. Yeah, like I said, I got one of them, the collectible. One of the collectible wow. colors of it. So I don't know what other colors they had for this. Yeah, I, got <laughs> I didn't know you were doing that. That's the first album right here and shit. I got that. Yeah, I'm going to showing that. Yeah. I got um this one, Escape. I don't got that one. I didn't like it, though. I like That's the song with, yeah, with uh, Justin Timberlake. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's God. the only song I liked off of that album. But um, I got the deluxe edition. I got the one because the first half of the CD... Plays um the the songs the unreleased songs, but right. were mixed by Timbaland and some other people. And on the yeah, light, yeah. latter half of the album, it plays the original versions of those unreleased songs. So, y'all got this, Jackson Five um, 
No, I don't have that one. I don't have that one. This is this is fire. This is fire, you know. I don't have that one. Yo, I need to get my hands on Triumph though, for real. Oh, and and we went over this one last week. Yeah. Oh yeah, love that. And I got um. This is it. Oh, I had that on bootleg though. I don't got the the retail copy. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> and I got um the Michael album. I got that too. I haven't even yo. I I never heard that though. I I got it for Christmas. I haven't even played it. It's been it's been a minute since I played this one. Yeah, I, I know he got a song with Fifty Cent on today. it. He got a song with Fifty, and he got a song with Lenny Kravitz. Yeah. Yep. Awesome, yeah. Mike. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. It's not that good. <laughs> Yeah, I heard it's that was, I heard that to was me, it's all right, but it was still, yeah. Because I know um the whoever's running Michael's estate, um, those two right, guys, right. um they, they signed like a like a like a like a deal for like to release on like nine or ten albums since yeah. he passed now. Yep. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. But my favorite MJ albums are Thriller, Bad, Dangerous, Invincible. And and escape it had to take me a minute for it to grow on me, but but it, it's right. it's 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 a good one to me. <clears throat> my favorite right my favorite right. stuff from um <laughs> yeah my favorite stuff from Thriller, uh, Wanna Be Starring Something, Baby Baby Be Mine, The Girl Is Mine, title track of course. Um, pretty much like there's not one bad bad song off this album at all. Everything was just so good. But since I got the twenty right. fifth anniversary right. edition of it. I like the PYT, um, um, I guess, version with Will I Am on it, and I know he did like a Billy, a oh, version of Billy Jean. Yeah, I know he did a version of Billy Jean on here with Kanye. Yeah. So it was like the Billy Jean oh, 2008 Kanye West mix. Some of them remixes were <laughs> iffy to me. <laughs> oh God! But he had an unreleased track, um, um, titled "For All Time," and that's that's a good song. That's it. That is if you have the 25th anniversary of Thriller. From Bad, I like, um, of course, the title track, the, the Way You Make Me Feel, Speed Demon, Another Part of Me, Man in the Mirror, I Just Can't Stop Loving You, Dirty Diana, Smooth Criminal, and Leave Me Alone. But that vi that Leave Me Alone video, it, it, it was so bizarre to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> he had this one joint that was supposed to have been on bad called Streetwalker. Yeah, I that's, on that the, one. that's on the bad special edition. Yeah, and it's a, and that's on um MJ's video game. Um, yeah, it's on Michael this version. Jackson experience. It's on this version. Yeah, y'all heard about the story about when he worked with Run DMC and shit. On that one, no. Ah oh, shit, well, uh, he was yeah, they, to... they didn't want to work with him, yo. Yeah, because Bubbles oh, beat Jam Master J. Bubbles, wait, Bubbles and Chim beat up Jam Master J. What the? What? Yeah, bu Bubbles bit Jam Master J's ear or some shit. Ooh, oh no, uh, no! I hope that nigga had uh, you know, shots and shit. Yeah, like some so shots for that. Like, <laughs> yeah. damn, you're a savage, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's. I'm I was sorry. That was wrong for me to laugh, but I'm Jam like, J, what? Man. Yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace, Jim. Yeah. <clears throat> mm. But I got I got some favorite stuff <laughs> off this album, Dangerous. And my mama loves this album, and I ended up burning her a copy of this. <laughs> I got a story. I got a story with this album too. This album came oh, out in ninety one. It was hear. like the, the same time that um y'all y'all remember House Forty Two? Yeah. Yes. The soundtrack came out the same time as this, right? And I was this was like the, the night oh, before wow. Thanksgiving. The night before mm. Thanksgiving, my mama gave me money and I, I went to get um I went I went to get um the House Party 2 soundtrack, but I didn't know this was coming out. So I uh -oh. went to the Wiz and I saw it there. I was like, yo, fuck that. I'm not getting that House Party 2 soundtrack. And I stood online. They had like a long ass line in the in the in the in the record store. And I stood online just to get um dangerous album. You know, best best purchase, one of the best wow. purchases ever. Word. Goodness, can't goodness. make this shit up, yeah. man. <laughs> I, mm. In the closet, yo. Yeah, but yeah, 
That was dope. <laughs> yeah, in the closet, that was that was a this song. I like that. I like jam. Why you wanna trip on me? She Ooh. drives me wild. Yeah. Remember the time, can't let her get away. And and when 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 black and white came out, yo, this, this is I, this is the only artist that I remember ever that they would go premiere his his videos during prime time. For they, real, they, they, they never did that oh. with Beyonce or Jay Z. Remember that shit? When, right when black and white came out, they they debuted this after the Simpsons. It was like when the Simpsons. It wasn't even on a Sunday night. It was like I believe the Simpsons would be on like Thursday night or something. Wow! And right after the Simpsons went off, they debuted Black or White, and they showed the actual the the original version with him like dancing on top of the cop car and, and grabbing himself. Oh, oh my yeah, god! All that shit. Oh, so, so when so, that happened, oh, so I was able to see that video on YouTube though. I wish I was right. around to see when, to see when, the when original. they when they show when they showed that like yo that shit was all over the news and they they stopped oh. showing that version. So they, they only show like the edited version now. He's like, Man. oh, oh no, screaming and shit. Yeah, I try to see if that video was on YouTube. YouTube don't even have that version and shit. Yeah. I, I remember that. seeing that version on like a few years ago, but um, I'm surprised they took that down. Yep. Dang, man. <laughs> nigga, nigga all ripping his shirt off and shit. <laughs> Oh, I remember, I remember, I remember um, they did like a parody of him doing that, being on top of the car and whatnot um, on an episode of In Living yeah. Color when yeah. Tommy Davidson was. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I remember I that. I, remember that. <laughs> I, I think it's uh, one of them niggas. I think it was David Allen Grill. One of them niggas, they were doing uh, In the Closet and they were talking about. Yeah, but, but like, it's Joe Jackson. Joe yeah, Jack- I remember that too. Oh, I remember that. Name. He's like, talking about beating up Latoya and shit. I was just thinking, <laughs> yes. crazy. The whole family's crazy. <laughs> oh Lord! Oh, oh. going to get it. Funny, <laughs> 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 oh, no. Yes. <laughs> no, can we can we talk about the bad full music video for a minute? Yes, I got a story about that too. Uh, I, I, let's see, let's I, I got a story about went, um, the Thriller video. When when, <laughs> when when bad came out, it, it came out in the summertime, and um, I had went. To my my I had, my grandmother had, had um took me and my cousin to one of her um her friends' houses and it I, yo like I slept I slept I slept I fell asleep at her friend's house like on the couch for like seven hours when I woke up it was eight o'clock yeah. and yeah. the bad video this is another video that they showed during prime time they showed this on CBS eight o'clock on CBS and it was in black and white and they showed the whole long version like the like when he um met up with his friends and all that and. I was like, yo, yeah. it was it was nothing I ever seen before. I was like, that was like one of the dopest um, Michael Jackson videos ever. Yeah, it was like a movie, yeah. But that, come on, come on. Fuck off me, man. I'm tired of this shit. Stop it. My favorite part of that video was like, um, like what at like toward the end of that video was like when Michael saying like who's bad like who's bad and it's like you doing wrong <laughs> you <Yeah>. doing wrong <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, got a, I got a story about um yeah I got a story about um the thriller video because um my sisters are eighties babies so when thriller came out one of my sisters was like two years old and my other sister was like like I don't know like a few weeks old and when um when they saw him like changing into like the werewolf and stuff, they weren't scared of that. But when like the zombies start coming out of the ground, like one of my sisters got scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> they got through the walls and shit. That shit was uh, yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my dad was telling me about them. Like, yeah, your sisters watched that video when they were when they were like <laughs> little little girls. I'm like, what? Right. I'm like, you let them watch yeah. that video? <laughs> 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 Oh yeah! Oh, wow. Hey, ain't um y- y'all ever seen Moonwalker? Yeah. Yep. No. M- M- Moonwalker, I got on home video. Like um, my grandmother went to Jamaica actually, and she got it from Jamaica when she was mm. down there, and she had called back from um uh, up here, and she asked me like, "Yo, what what do you want? I'm I'm buying I'm buying uh gifts and shit," and I told her I wanted um I wanted Moonwalker on home video. And I wanted Arnold Schwarzenegger Commando because Commando was like one of my favorite um, movies. Commando's fire. I love Commando. And 
Oh, she got. She me. got. Um. Uh. Mike. Mike. You remember. You remember the. Um. The, the little starting lineup figures. The. Um. That from Kenner. Yeah. Yeah. I. I got. She had. She yeah. got me like a couple of those. So, when she came back, that's and that's the first time I ever saw a Moonwalker. Cause I, I, like it was. Um. It was just coming out. And man, I. I love that. That home video, man. Like Moonwalker. It was like. It was like watching like another version of Thriller. Like. Like he did like all the long form videos for like Speed Demon. And for like um, fucking, you know, uh, smooth criminal and all that. that was, right, that was the first time um, oh. Joe Pesci. That's the first time Joe Pesci was. I seen Joe Pesci because he was in um, smooth yeah, criminal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that shit was fire, man. Love that. Yeah, I, I love. Like, it. Do they still have that they Moonwalker? Like, is that out of print? <laughs> it, it might. I think it's on. I think it's on DVD. I think you get it on DVD. Okay, I'm gonna have to get that. And I know yeah. they had the Moonwalker video game. Yeah, yeah they had that too. But um, I, Thriller, 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 they, I don't think Thriller ever made it to DVD game. yet, though. That that hasn't, that hasn't been on DVD yet. Really? That's yeah. That's Thriller. Crazy. Not even the documentary. Nah, that's not on DVD. They they have they have the video. The video is on the number ones collection, and it's on the um the Thriller twenty five edition. But it's like on yeah, the, like I got, regular I got that on, on DVD. Yeah, I got that DVD yeah. on my um twenty fifth edition of um Thriller. Yeah. Hmm. That's wild. Michael Jackson battling the fucking rabbit and shit. That shit was wild, yo. <laughs> That's what that was. I thought for some reason I kept thinking I didn't know what it was a rabbit or a donkey when I saw yeah, it. Yeah, it was a rabbit. rabbit yeah. Some crazy shit. It like a I rabbit. was like, what is this? Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Classic shit though, yo. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah. And then yeah. and in '88. 88, I went down to um to Miami because that was like the first time I ever went to um Florida. I went to Epcot Center. And he had a um he had a, a little move, a mini movie called um Captain EO. Yeah. And w- when we went to um Epcot Center, they were giving out like the 3D glasses because it was in 3D. And yeah. um like the, it was like some Star Wars shit, because he was like a big Star Wars fan and he was like he had to like um uh... I think like the story was like like there was like an evil queen that was like Making people like depressed, and he had he he like he was there to like you know spread joy and shit to the planet. It, that was a dope little uh, mini movie, but it, it's never it never made it like on home video or nothing though. Mm. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. So um, y'all y'all ever like the Destiny album for Jacksons and shit? Absolutely. I never listen. I never listened to that one. I, don't, I ain't hear that one. Oh man. Yeah, that to me that's the second best Jackson's album. My favorite is you know Charm, but right. I don't know. What did y'all think of the song um Twenty Three Hundred Jackson Street when they had the whole Family Net video? The I only good song on that album. <laughs> <laughs> Michael yeah. wasn't on it though. Yeah, he was. He was on that song. He was on that. Yeah, and he was in oh, the video. Man. Yeah. Hi, yeah, he was also in that video that. too. Yeah, mm. that wow. twenty three hundred album sucked. Yeah, <laughs> I never heard that shit. I only heard the song, not the album. I only heard that one song, never the album. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not really missing that much and shit like that. It's just <laughs> them trying to do some new Jack Swing shit, but it didn't work. It works in some places because yeah, I think L.A. Reid and maybe Face were on the album, but not all of it. Was. Oh, oh wow. But I have to re-listen to it too, just for on safe side. Uh, my my shit on Triumph is lovely one. Oh, so fucking good. Oh. Mine is everybody, man. You are mine. You are mine. They go on with your bad self. That shit is fire. <laughs> it is fire. Yeah, I I didn't even I, I didn't like the Can You Feel It video to be honest. Oh, I love that. Dope. That shit is fire. I didn't like Yo, that. that- that actually, that video is on the home video for Thriller. Like, um, when after the the video goes off and they have them making the Thriller, they yeah. show the video for um, Can You Feel It is on it. I don't know. I, I just felt like it was just kind of yeah. <laughs> the effects were cool, but I just didn't really like right. it. Mm. You like the song, nigga. Oh yeah, I love this that song. Is fire. Good. How are you? Shit. Hell, I even like the self-titled Jackson's album from '76 too. Like, yep, yeah. What did y'all think of um when they had that that movie um 
the Jacksons and American Dream. Ooh, I like oh, that. Man. I thought that was dope. I like that I too. Yeah, they got I it on. D they the sell it on DVD <laughs> off Amazon. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> I think a Tito getting his ass with playing the guitar and shit. <laughs> oh Lord. Hey. Fucking Jermaine Smith on his ass too. Dang man. <laughs> But I mean, yeah. you having like all like nine kids in the house, and you know good and well one of them gonna get in trouble. You know, someone gonna snitch on somebody. Yo, I was, I know I I can't laugh at this scene, but I see when he was getting whipped. Did y'all people how whole boy was crying? He was like, ha 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 ha. Uh, yeah, I, I remember that. I remember that too. I was like, wow. Shit, and everyone just. But but that but but you know like if you end up doing something wrong, you better go outside and get that switch. Shit, Marlon, Marlon knew the hard way and shit like that. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that ain't no joke. Yeah, it's way better than that fucking Man in the Mirror bullshit. Oh, my God. I did not watch that. I did not watch that. Neither did I, but I heard about it. You're not missing much. Wait, wait, wait. What Wasn't that one with Flex Alexander played him? Ugh. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> no way. I remember I did watch that trash. Oh my god. That what, was so what's your awful. thing about this album though? Which one is that? Victory. Uh, oh. oh wow. That, that motherfucking tour though. That tour was crazy. Oh yeah, it was. <clears throat> mm. Damn. Right, I, I love this album cover though, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, that that co that cover is fire. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Shock. Shock. You got uh, Mick Jagger's on here. That was that was a dope song, you know. Torture. Mm. The, the the one problem, the one song I, I have a problem with is his body because I know Marlon oh, was singing God. that song, but that's clearly a Michael Jackson song. I never heard that song. Yeah. I probably penned it for the nigga. Yeah, like if like if you they have a video for it. If you seen the video, that's clearly all Michael did. You remember mm -hmm. when Marlon was doing that weird dance in that victory tour and shit like that? Right. <laughs> Jesus. He was, he, he was I, got, I, gotta see, I gotta see some of them videos what y'all talking about because um <laughs> yeah, I, I, ne I never Reg, watched what them. you think about this album, Rich? Oh it was all right. It was all right. Yeah. When it comes to early Jackson Five, I mostly like Diana Ross Presents and maybe Tomorrow. About this album, gotta be listen to it. I don't know none of that shit. I'll be. I'm keeping. I don't know none of them either. And plus, I don't own any vinyls either. So sure. If I were to get some at some point, I would. Yeah, y'all yeah, remember when um. Yeah, I heard a story about when Michael and Freddie Murphy worked together and shit like that. No. Yeah. What happened with that? Freddie was fucking with Mike. They're supposed to, he supposed to do State of Shock with him. Yeah. Oh, shit. How did you get Mick Jagger on it? I don't Mick, know was like, Mick was like a last minute replacement from what I've heard. Mm. Mm. I've heard that Freddie manager didn't like the fact that Michael's llama was there or some shit like that. What the fuck? What is it with this nigga and his animals, yo? <laughs> Wait, were they at, at Michael's house on Neverland Ranch? Yeah, I think it was in Michael's studio, but I could be wrong because I heard different variations of the story. Okay. I mean, he had to think of animals. Like, come on. It's like, Steve, like Steve Harvey said, Michael got giraffe money. <laughs> hey, yo, Mike, yo, Mike should put the animals away when he trying to do music with these niggas. Though, come on, man. Right. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I, but you know it costs a whole lot of money because you know having to feed all them animals and maintain the ranch and all that. Mm, yeah, it's crazy. This nigga got. Yeah, I, 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 if I were to have like a big, big fat sum of money, I don't know if I would go all out like that. That's just me. <laughs> shit. There'll be all yeah, bitches at the crib with my shit instead of fucking animals. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you have like like your own version of the Playboy Mansion at your. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to type shit, man. Speak your, speak your clout money, nigga. What it is? <laughs> <laughs> nigga got giraffes and orangutans in the fucking house and shit. That's crazy. 
much. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but you know, you know, people do shit on Invincible too hard, though. I'm not gonna front. Yeah, that ha- that that yeah. album got good songs. I don't remember that album, yo. I got to listen to that again. They have it on I, Spotify, I, if I'm I, not mistaken, and and all the songs are on YouTube. I, so I haven't been played this shit since the album came out, so. I gotta definitely oh hear that again. God. I'm real shaky on that. I'll be on. I'm real shaky yeah. on the record. Yeah. But uh, I mean, it got, it got some good stuff that you might like. Butterflies. Mike was in his neo soul bag, and I that was I dope. Yeah. I like the remix you did with Eve. That was I love, dope. I love, I love, I love butterflies. Uh, There's so many songs off that album I like. I like um, Unbreakable, um, Break of Dawn, Heaven Can Wait, You Rock My World. But you know what pissed you me off? You are my life. Song? You know what pissed huh? me off about the album, though? Mm. What? It was like it, when that album went, pla- it just went platinum. He went after the nigga, that Tommy Matola nigga, and shit like that. Right. At the same time, you know, like he could have still built off some singles because a lot of them songs could have been singles, like Heaven Can Wait. Yeah. That should have been a, a single. But he, Mike, Mike was like, yo, he wanted Butterflies to be the second single, and mm. Tommy was against that. I, and I, um, Totally support Mike for standing up against the big mm-hmm. corporations and and, and mm-hmm. fighting for what he believed in. That's what it was. Fact. I, I, you know, he did a press conference too for that. Right. Yeah. And he had a rally in Harlem because of that shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that, you don't support my new record. Remember that you saying that? Shit? Right. Right. He's like he was very devilish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was a lot of lot of stuff off that album that really could have been singles, like Break a Dawn or or um. Just some, just some other stuff on here. Like, come on. <laughs> Shit. But, but did you? But, but did y'all watch "You Rock My World" video? Yeah. The whole yeah. video. Oh, yeah. 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 This was around the time when he when he might start looking scary. I think. <laughs> oh God! You think? <laughs> yeah. He re- he really looked, yeah because like from the from. The mid '90s all the way to the early 2000s, he started looking scary to me, and it kind of creeped me out I a little bit. I think he was looking scary saw... before then. <laughs> <You> <laughs> That's know. why I said either the mid, mid or late '90s when he started looking scary. I, mean, I had to catch myself for that, a second. That 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 thriller video was just a teaser. <laughs> oh sh! All I'm there was nothing wrong, wrong with him during his thriller thriller days, and there was nothing I, wrong with I'm him doing. <laughs> yeah, there was nothing wrong with that. He he was fine the way bef- he was before, but. He kept going overboard with them plastic surgeries and all that. Yeah, he, right. had, the he problem with Mike, addiction that <clears throat> Mike had too many fucking yes men. That's the problem yeah. with Mike. I agree. Yeah, and, and it was like at one point there was one doctor he um that I guess did like a previous procedure for him and said I'm not doing it anymore. Like no more, right. no more. Right. <laughs> that thirtieth mm-hmm. anniversary celebration. Oh God. Oh, I, I remember watching it. I remember watching it. It was good, but it was a lot of cringeworthy moments and shit. Yeah, yeah, especially like when Whitney Houston came out. Oh, she looked uh, scary. <laughs> Forget it, baby. Like, they don't have a baby. Like, oh. I, I when I first saw her, and I think my mom and, we, and I we were watching them at um, I guess someone who worked who works for my grandmother's house um at her house, and we were watching on TV, and we were like, "Is that Whitney?" <laughs> Yo, you can like, tell my Mike, gosh, she looked terrible. You can tell Michael was feeling Beyonce in that fucking bootylicious performance and shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, niggas be saying Michael had a thing for Beyonce and shit. I believe oh, it. Oh, Lord. I believe it. Mm. Shit, but yeah, I didn't really like the 30th anniversary celebration with that. Wow. Right. Yeah. I think I only caught it that one time back then when it initially aired. Other than that, I haven't seen it. Since like Rex, t- tell me, tell me, Jermaine don't look like Michael here. Oh, he do. Look, look at his back cover. Oh look at this shit. That's, he went in Michael's closet. See, he was trying to rip off Michael. Michael really wear. He would really wear that. Yeah. Like, yeah, he went in Michael's closet for this shit. That cocksucker tried to rip off Michael uh, in that whole era. Like, <laughs> that my <fucking> <laughs> video was a huge rip off from Thriller. Like, oh yeah. Yo, you see, see that nigga recently? That nigga had like a Ken doll, nigga. <laughs> like a black Ken doll, nigga. Got the, the fucking that that airbrush fat top shit, nigga. Look like some erase oh, for Martha. The race for Martha shit. shit. Oh, plastic ass head, nigga. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Shit. <laughs> nigga would admit that words are a bad song and shit like that. <laughs> Crazy. Uh-huh. Fuck, fuck Jermaine. <laughs> oh my. What about Jermaine? Fuck Jermaine. <laughs> 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 Shit. Yo, you know, Mike, me, me and Trav were talking about how we felt like he had a thing with Diana Ross at one point and shit like that. Yeah. Mike? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mike? Oh, yeah. Probably. Yep. Yeah, I felt like. I felt like we don't know. Upside down was definitely about Mike. I don't give a fuck with no one. <laughs> oh, like, Lord. Uh, babe. Boy, you wow. turned me inside out. Shit. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, my, yeah. I bet you Mike was a little play on the logo and shit like that. I can't even oh, picture yeah. Mike oh, fucking. God. Imagine Mike fucking. I can't even picture that shit. Man. <laughs> like, I don't know. I I can't imagine that either. I'm sorry. I can't ah. believe you're here. <laughs> ah. <laughs> the, the bitch coming out more fucking uh. That I don't want to talk shit. It's, we're celebrating, Mike. I'm gonna talk shit about Mike. Bla- Bla- Blanket to me looks like him out of all the kids. Like Blanket has his face. You like think, it, yeah, because like, yeah, because like my mom and I were kind of talking about it at some point. None of his uh, kids look like him, not um, not Paris and not um, yeah, Prince. Uh, yeah, they don't look like him. Yeah, because I think they 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 um they were born via a surrogate. That's right. why. <clears throat> but but blanket to me is the one kid that, that has his face. He looks exactly like Michael. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he do. He do. Yeah. yeah. Cause a lot of people were here for many years were like questioning whether or not they were really Mike's children because none of them looked like anything. Mike, like Mike, Mike was busting off in some chick, so <laughs> <I wonder who. laughs> uh, we don't know. Yeah, for real. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yeah, man. But yeah, um, even the fucking like blood on the dance floor, it was okay by some people and shit, but it was all right. Like, right. I don't fuck with I don't, that shit. I don't have I don't have that I album. Hear and only two songs I remember hearing from that album was the title track and um, "Is It Scary," and um, "Ghosts." Right. I think, yeah. That fucking super fly, my sister. That's my shit, though. Yep. I I have to listen to that. Mm. But what's your favorite samples in my in hip hop for Michael's music and shit? And you, y'all can say Jackson Five music too and shit. Mm. Cliche as fuck, but it ain't hard to tell. Oh yeah, okay. That, that shit is beautiful. OPP from Naughty by Nature. Um, Dope. Uh, the the De La Soul um Break of Dawn track. Oh. Oh, so I get, a, I get it. I get an okay, like a simple okay. He gets a right. ooh. My shit's fire. <laughs> no, no, because I, no, no disrespect, Mike, but like it's just. Yeah, see, I knew you would thought so shade that. Okay. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> now, I don't hear people mention that song like that. That's why. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck. She's hot. Right. <laughs> I'm yeah. fucking with you, Reg. You know what I'm talking about. I, 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 I think that that sample makes that song. I mean, because if you take away the samples, it's just like a, a regular beat break and then just them rhyming over it. But I, I think that melody, like, it makes, makes uh, that's that song for their life. And it's all for album that niggas don't talk about. Right, exactly. Niggas need to talk about. Oh, yeah. Mm. <clears throat> a little mind state, nigga. Yep. Uh, very underrated. Yeah. This might sound cliche, too, but I would have to say the Teddy Riley remix of SWV's right here. Fire. Oh, I love I love that one. I was finna mention that one. I love that one. I love that Fire. version. Yeah. Oh, that was so oh, good. That's the jam. Fire, man. That's like uh, not early '90s barbecue music, my nigga. You feel? For real. Yeah, you play that. You play that to a family gathering or whatever. Yeah. And I know um I know some other people sampled um I can't help it because I heard like elements of it from this one R and B group um right. back in the '90s called um Portrait. They use that yeah, for their hit right. song. Here we go I again. got that album. Yeah, yeah I saw you post a picture of that. They're yeah. a very underrated yeah. group too. Oh yeah, you mean that group? Like, yeah, they have one hit. <laughs> yeah, I think like wait, I think they only had like two hit songs. That two and hits. Honey Dip. 
Oh wow. Honey well, Dip. I hear I heard they play that one on the radio. Yeah, they were on Family Matters too and shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I wow. remember that oh, episode. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, but back um, to Hey Lover, LL Cool J. That was a big Oh hit. yeah, that, yeah, the lady oh, yeah. in my life sample. Yeah, yeah, I love that song. Definitely. Oh my god. Hey Lover. Um mm-hmm. Yeah, graffiti. The, uh, the, the uh, Wu Massacre, they had the um the song, I forgot the first single. That was a Jackson 5 sample. That album's a distant memory to me. I never even, that shit is yeah. too short, my nigga. It was, um, um it our, was... what's it called? Our Stories or some shit? I forgot the first single, but that was a Jackson 5 sample that they had in that. I wanted that shit to be fire, man. An album yeah. with Matt, Ghost, and Ray, come on, my nigga. It should have been way better right. than that. Forgettable as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I know this is Reg's show, but um, maybe the MJ video. Want to talk about that? Oh boy. Talk about what? Favorite <laughs> MJ videos. Oh, facts. Oh. Okay, but let me. Um, yeah, yeah, we can talk about that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I got distracted by something on the comment. Cliche as fuck, thriller. I gotta be there. Right. And wrong with that. Oh man, the way you make me feel. That shit is ill, that you know. Great. Stalking the shorty, yo. Mike, Mike, Mike's <laughs> trying to get it in. He's doing, he's doing a fucking pumping motion and shit. That really? shit is fire. These niggas right. pumping the ground. Oh, that yeah. shit is ill. <laughs> uh, Dirty Diana. That shit is fire. Oh yeah. You know, fucking bad. I love bad. Directed by one of my favorite directors of all time, Martin Scorsese. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That shit is ill. Uh, fuck man. A lot of shit, my nigga. But those are some of my favorite ones that come to mind. You know what I mean? Um, they don't care about us. Definitely the, the one in the Brazil version. Definitely. Oh, my, oh, scream, scream with Jenny. That shit's fire. Yes, love that That's too. Fucking with me. Um, I got beat it because it's the first time I I saw him. So uh, I, oh, it, it told a story as well. So I definitely feel like that's a classic. Uh, video Billy Jean, Villa. Um. Mm. Uh, remember the time, love that video. Oh, I love remember the time. You know, yeah, that's with him like just uh turning into like the the dust and all that. That was fire. Mm-hmm. There's so many. Like he he was like an innovator mm-hmm. when he came to videos, man. You know what I mean? Like oh, yeah. yeah just, every video was so different for him. You know what I'm saying? And and mm-hmm. it, it goes it goes with the song. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my favorite videos besides remember the time. I like um. I like black and white, black or white, um, in the closet. I like bad, um, that's what else, Dirty Diana, Smooth Criminal, because it gave you like those, um, those old classic movies from the 1940s type feel with him being in the yeah. suit and then doing that lean in that video. Right. Oh, oh yeah. my. Like yes. For real. I, I can only imagine a few people trying to attempt that lean, but can't. <laughs> My, yo, Michael Swag was on a billion in that video, my nigga. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And are you okay? Yeah, oh, fire. And are you okay? Yep. <laughs> ah, I love yeah. it. And I love They Don't Care About Us, and I love um Stranger in Moscow. Okay. And Scream, Scream. I love that one, Scream, um, with him and his sister, Jan. Oh, I love that shit. That's just hard, yo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For me, I have to go with Billy Jean, Thriller, um, what's I going to say? Smooth Criminal, mm-hmm. The Way You Make Me Feel. Oh, yeah, that's a good one too. Liberian Girl, where it has all them celebrities at that time and shit like that. I thought that was very right. unique and shit. Oh, yeah. uh, remember the time. Mm-hmm. Jam. Oh yeah, I love Jam. I, me- I forgot to mention Jam. Right, and uh, that they don't care about us. The Spike Lee version. Yeah, you know there were two versions of that video: the Brazil one we were talking yeah. about, and the prison one. <clears throat> you want to pick one MJ song? What would it be? Oh Lord! Oh man! Oh, shit. Damn! It's easy, That's, it's hard. That's so hard. <laughs> you human nature for me, yo. It's just something That's about so hard. that. hard. I'm gonna go with uh Billy Jean. Mm. That's just fire. Mm. I can't help it. My what? Oh, it's in my top five. 
Absolutely. Yeah, my um my my go to Michael Jackson song would have to be um Jam. Jam. You wanna get up this jam? <laughs> Did y'all ever see the Bad 25 doc? That shit is amazing. I saw that, yeah. No, I, no, I have no, not I seen that. that I haven't good. seen it. Oh, uh, it's a must. Yeah. Is it, is it on a special edition of Bad, or is it on DVD, YouTube? I, I, I had to physically buy that shit off Google Play. You, oh, if, wow. if you have um If you have uh, Showtime on demand, it should be still on there. I don't know. Yeah, I got, I got Showtime on my TV. Yeah. Like, 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 check on demand and see if it's on it. I know it was like a couple years ago. And if you can talk to your oh. TV like I can, just say Bat 25. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't right. talk to Bat 25. <laughs> Alexa, Bat 25. Yeah, Alexa. Right. Hey, I got a question for y'all. Uh huh. Favorite mm -hmm. MJ Award show performance? Ooh. Cliche, Motown 25. And all right, that ain't an award show. Yeah. Right? I yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I'm gonna have to say well, that. Well, that can count too. Fuck it. <laughs> oh yeah, fuck it. I just got to I actually was fire. Definitely. I I would have to say um his Grammy performance for um '88 mm. when he had a choir and shit. Yeah. Right, I remember that. Mm. Yeah. What's your favorite shit the nigga ever wore? Fashion shit. I gotta. Ooh. Oh wow. That, it's that Grammy 80, 83 or 84, that, that fucking per that blue and gold joint. Right. That shit is fire, man. Um, Goodness it has so many outfits. I, I, I would say the the the, thriller, the red thriller jacket, because I always loved oh, yeah. his his leather jackets were like some of the best. Like the, the red uh, the red jacket and beat it, the red thriller jacket. Mm. Yeah, like the, the black and white um leather in the, the Pepsi commercial mm. with uh with uh with Carlton back in the day. Um, oh, Alfonso Ribeiro. Yeah, yeah, yeah Alfonso, right. Awesome. You know, I, I yeah. always liked his leather jackets. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I would have to say his attire from the bad tour with the black leather jacket and shit. That was dope. Yeah, it's fire. Mm. Yeah. Hey, yo, Reg. Yo. Do you mind if I put this on speaker Claw? Because this shit is I'm having a blast. Yo, this shit's ill. <laughs> you said what? <laughs> Do you mind if I put this shit on speak your clout? Because this shit's fire. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do your thing, bro. Yeah, I, I did that with Supreme Clientel as well, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, like, like I said before, I don't, I don't, I really don't mind this shit. Because I'm about to put street songs on my account, like, possibly this week, too. Yeah, yeah, you can put There's a Dark Side, too. Whatever you want to do. do you. Uh, it's a family affair over this motherfucker. Uh yeah, my favorite um MJ outfits would have to be, like, the bad yeah. video with, um, with the leather, black leather jacket. And I like the the smooth criminal suit he had on. That was dope. Yeah, I gotta go smooth criminal too. That shit too. Yeah. Yeah. For real. Yo, it was it was ill as fuck when he would go on that heavy metal, that rock kind of feel with Dark Dirty Diana and Given to Me. Yeah. Oh, uh, Given to Me, so fucking good. For real. Oh yeah. man, one of my first songs off Dangerous, man. Slash. That shit is fire. <clears throat> Uh, Tech Nine sampled that too. Get okay. a dope drop sample on that. What's yeah. It's off Like I Died. I think it's what's the name of that fucking uh, song, yo. I forget, yo. I'll get back to you. It's on, it's on one of his EPs. Right. Oh, my last sad song. There you go. My last sad song. Tech Nine. Okay. It's popping in my fucking head. Yeah, it's just fire, man. <clears throat> yeah, man. MJ, man. Yo, hey. Where were y'all when he died, though? Oh, I know. Like, I remember like it was yesterday, dog. I remember like it was just. I had a fucking in my living room at the time. This is when I first got the internet. Like, around the first time I got the internet. And you already know that 09 was a bad year for me. Like, like that, this same month, June 09, I found out that my uh, ex-girlfriend had aborted my child and shit. When she said it was a miscarriage. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? Whoa. That, like, real shit right now. I'm being real, child. Real, right. Niggas that know me know that already, right? So that's the time when I was dealing with that. I was already fucking depressed and I was in my living room on like a desktop computer I used to have. I was on there. And uh my homegirl at the time was like slash fuck buddy. She 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 called me and said that uh Michael Jackson died. I'm like, what the fuck? Get the fuck out of here, right? I turn on the fucking news, it's it's, it's everywhere. You know? It was a hot fucking day. I was aggravated, you know what I mean? So I just 
I smoked instead of bumping Mike, you know? Right. And I shed some tears, yo. I'm not going to lie. Same. Same. A couple of tears came falling yeah. out my face because that, that nigga, like I said, before hip hop, before heavy metal hit me, it was it was Mike, man. Mm-hmm. You know, Mike and Fritz. And uh, that was just a bad time. Bad. I remember going in the shower and just thinking about that shit like, wow, Michael Jackson's dead, yo. So it's just wild, man. How about y'all? Um, I was at my, I was at a homeboy's house, and I, I, I was, I had fell asleep on um, on this couch, and then it was like uh, I think it was like three thirty in the in the afternoon, and CNN, CNN, uh, he had CNN on, and it was like on CNN, now, and he woke me up. He was like, "Yo, Michael Jackson just died." I'm like, "What? What are you talking about?" I'm, you know, I thought I'm, I was dreaming or whatever, and um, shit happened. I was like, "Yo, like um." I couldn't, you know what I mean? And and I was just like, it was crazy. You know what I mean? And and I still don't believe it. I think it's a conspiracy going on. You know what I mean? So uh, it, was, it, was, it was unreal. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I, had to have been, yeah. <clears throat> I, know what, I know the day when I found out he died, I was at the... Fifteen at the time. What's all that buzzing? <laughs> Somebody trying to call me. I no, it's like someone's you know phone. I think like he hearing that buzzing noise. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, back to what I was saying. Um, anytime I'm on live, people want to call me. I don't get it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That was you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Cause um. Yeah. My um, I was fifteen at the time when I found out the new on the, the day that he died. And it was like all over the news. It was like all over the lo- local news channels. And then when my folks and I, we were watching CNN. And <clears throat> that particular day when I found out he died, it was my last day of taking driver's ed. <laughs> was was the day when I found out about it. Because at first I was like, is this a joke? Because right. it was like, it was unbelievable. Because we were all sitting on the living room couch and we were hearing about it on like every music station, every news ch- um station even cnn is like hitting everywhere and we're like my god and it was it just didn't seem real to me and i even remember when they televised his um funeral i was at home by myself until my dad came home like in the middle of the afternoon and i remember i was crying watching that right. watching that whole funeral because it, it was like it it did it really hit me hard until until then, I was like, "Dang, this can't be real. This man, this man can't can't possibly be go- be taken away from us like this. Not like this. Right? Because I expect the man to live like at least to be a hundred or something. Like, <laughs> I thought it was like a horrible dream, or it was like a bad joke, and I was just waiting for the punchline. Because that's how I was feeling right. when I heard the news. Yeah, my family called me as well. To tell me, I was like, well, I, was like I know I heard, just heard from my, my no. crazy shit." Yeah, for me, I was outside showing with some friends, and then everyone just told us, talk about, oh, Michael Jackson just died and shit like that. I was like, nah, they can't be true. And then it was really true and shit, because they started playing all these songs on the radio, and mm-hmm. every, every TV station just shut down playing his videos or movies, mm-hmm. whatever, mm-hmm. And shit like that. Like, mm-hmm. it was like for about a month, it was just nothing but Michael Jackson for about a month or two, or maybe even three months and shit. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's crazy how you know how Cat Williams say, you know, when niggas say niggas talking about this is it, that means they about to die and shit like that. Mm-hmm. What is he a fucking psychic? And Michael had a tour <laughs> upcoming tour titled This Is It. Because it, it was kind of like he was like predicting either his demise or something like that. Like, I don't know. <clears throat> but why have a tour yeah. titled This Is It? It was like, it was like he's predicting like, his own. Like, <clears throat> I love them both, but I, I got to ask the question, y'all. The age old question. I got to ask you. French Rogers Nelson or oh, Michael Jackson? Who you're riding with? Mike. What is it? Prince or Mike? Who you're riding oh, with? Oh, Lord. Mike. Mike. I got Prince all day. 
MJ. Yeah, I'm gonna go Mike. Oh. I I tell you what, <clears throat> he got he's got a lot of the discography of music and um he can't fuck with he can't fuck with P at all that. To me, to me. Uh, on stage, my god. Right. My god. Mm-hmm. But music wise, it's not even fucking close. And and, and don't get don't, don't gonna kill me. I love Mike, <laughs> but I, I, I got Prince all fucking day. That's just, always was like that. You know, yeah, I was a kid. But I love Mike though. I love Mike. Yeah. I'm surprised Reg got Mike. I'm I'm surprised. Yeah. Reg be acting, Reg be acting like he the Prince God along with me and Ricardo, <laughs> money. The Prince God. <laughs> Yeah. No, he's not. He's not like, that nigga's collection. I seen him. This nigga got some right. shit. Yeah, because believe yeah. it or not, it's like I I love Mike, but with Prince, his discography is mm-hmm. like more versatile and more varied and shit like that. You know. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. but I, I just grew up on Mike a lot, and it was at one point when I was little. I didn't like Prince when I was a lot when I was little and shit. It was little. You didn't like Prince. Fuck wrong you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how would you feel about the black nigga touching himself with his fucking shirt off and shit like that? You were fucking like eight or nine years old and shit. How'd you feel seeing a nigga naked with a thong on, nigga? I didn't bother. <laughs> this, nigga, this nigga music is fire. Son. I know. I, I, I that's what I'm saying. When, when I grew up, I was like, now I got it and shit like that. But yeah, but like little. when you were a child, yeah. Yeah, I, I yeah, yeah, trying to get what Reg is saying. Yeah, but I, I, I was t- I was like nine, and I seen the controversy post to Google that shit, niggas. Niggas don't know shit about that. Yeah, I, 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 the reason I but, said uh, NBA over Prince was because yeah, I've heard Mike Michael's music a little bit more when I was growing up over some stuff of Prince's. I mean, even though like they they're both. <laughs> Um, um, music, um, music icons and all, yeah, that's my reason. <clears throat> yeah, I got Pete. Well, I love Mike though. I love Mike. Man. I love all of them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I had to ask. The niggas been battling about that. For right. Yeah, it's like everybody's well, like, yo, like, you like, know like, what? like Prince versus Michael debate. Like, yeah, yeah, I you know to- what's crazy. Like I didn't hear about no Prince and Michael beef until after Michael died because they never talked about that Prince, when they were alive. Prince tried to run over Mike and Latoya one time, yo. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah, man. Yeah. Wow. Dang, I, I did not know that. Never, they yeah, never, man. and this is before the internet. They never talked about that stuff. It was after. Head, head Rich? It was okay. after you know the whole James Brown incident and shit like that. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, my yeah, Michael Jackson, my, but I don't understand because Mike called Prince up there, and Prince was acting right. a full all j- fucked up and shit. Mm. Right. He did. He did like a little dance on the guitar solo and just left. <laughs> <laughs> Made them weird noise like ah. Oh, <laughs> and then, uh, then he dropped the fucking pole <laughs> to the audience and shit. Yeah. <laughs> The fucking pole came falling down and shit, yo. Wow. You see that footage? Shit, you know how Michael was just disappeared out of the sight. Mm. <laughs> and fucking, and then when Under the Cherry Moon like flopped, Michael was laughing at that shit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, movie is trash, but. You know. Yeah, I heard Reg said that movie was trash. Terrible. <laughs> the album, though. Save it. Yeah, the album was good. Fire, yeah. fire, fire. Where it is dope. Y'all yeah, heard about how Madonna was originally supposed to be on, on In the Closet? What? No. Yeah. I did not video? know that. <clears throat> no, the, the song and video. Oh, I didn't know that. I did not oh, know that. that. Oh, and that's like 92 Madonna, my yeah. nigga. She was still yeah. ah. Sex yep. Madonna. Ah. Yep. Ah. Deep, oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Weren't one of y'all planning on getting that book that she had back then? Me, I want, I want to get that sex book, but I, I want a new copy, not no you shit. <laughs> Man, I, 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 I want niggas, niggas, niggas nut, niggas nut stains all over that book. I don't want that. <laughs> probably wear rubber gloves. Nigga got, nigga got 1992 cum drops on that shit, man. <laughs> Damn. Damn. For real, right? 
Hell, am I dried right up cum stains all over the book and shit? Yeah, I open that shit, can't open a motherfucking page. Hey, how you know it's my real? That shit rip. <laughs> females might come in that book too. Think about that shit. Oh, <laughs> some females might come to that book too. Think about that shit. Yep. Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> a female's cum is more potent than a man's cum. Let's just leave it at that. Sh- shorty purely blood all over that book. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I remember when Jana dissed Madonna because Madonna called Michael weird and shit. Oh wow! What did she diss Madonna? I did not know that. Yeah, she said, "Oh, Madonna, she just does dance music." <laughs> oh shit! Mm. She's like, "I love Janet." Cool. You said what? I love, I love Jana and I love Madonna. Thanks to Chris, I got into Madonna. Yeah. But the wild shit was when I, I told Chris and Steven, I heard Shorty first album. Like, yo, I, I, I know this. I know fucking uh, Starlight and shit. That's just fire. Right. I know that. Right. I don't know what it was. I don't know. I don't know who it was. <laughs> I don't sure. know who it was. So I heard that shit. I, I, I love Janet, but Madonna's first album was way better than that bubblegum crap that she put out in the. Oh yeah, definitely. definitely. You mean with, with Janet? Um, what was it? What what, what was that? Um, that bubblegum Street stuff shit? that she had. Dream, Dream Street or something? No, yeah. no, that was like one, that. the title one. Hold on, hold oh, on. oh, that shit was yeah. bad too. Both of them were bad. Yeah, I, I didn't stop fucking with Janet to control. That's the first album I ever heard. Yeah, keeping it a thousand man. Yeah, when yeah. I when I when I first listened to Janet's um stuff, the first Janet album I was really introduced to introduced to was um the All for You album, and then oh, when I got older, I started going back and trying to find her old stuff. Right. <clears throat> What have you done for me lately? Then didn't I then, plan on get? I plan on getting control. Not this week, but oh yeah, next week. Classic, classic. Yeah, I need to get that. Yeah. And I, wait, what? That's it. That's the one. That's the that's the debut album. Jimmy. That shit was bad. Motherfucking penny. What do you think of the cover? What do you think of the cover though? The couple is sexy. Oh, oh yeah, she was sexy, all right. but she wasn't eighteen yet in this cover though. Right. Yeah, fuck How that shit. I, I, I fuck with that. That's all, all Kelly. That's all Kelly shit right there, bro. Oh god. <laughs> shit. But like I said, all this Kelly eat your heart out. I can use some samples off this one and shit. I don't give a fuck. Right. Mm. Oh, that's nothing. I got I got Janet's book. Um oh, the book? What's that? Um her um true you book. The journey oh, wow. to finding and loving yourself. Never seen that. Yeah, I, I got it off of Amazon um one week and um I was like, why, why not get this? Because it came out I think the year when um Michael died. She even dedicated um oh, oh, nice. the book to yeah, yeah, at the beginning it said to Mike. Right. So yeah. That's dope. Yeah. I'm still in is the that, is, I'm still in the middle of it. <clears throat> is that Madonna's sex book? Is that like expensive? Very. Hell yeah, no, it's three hundred no, bucks. No, no. The new one, wait, a sealed copy is three hundred bucks. Oh, oh, shit. oh yeah, I remember, I yeah. remember when we were talking about that. Yeah, they said it costs yeah. a lot. The 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 used version is like one hundred twenty five or some shit. But wow. yeah, but he said he don't want yeah. no used one. He want the. No, nah, I don't want no used one. Hell, fucking no. Hell no. <laughs> shit. Hell. And, and the the, the new copy cool. comes with a comic book and it comes with the erotica CD. Not unless y'all figure out some way to pay it or split it. <laughs> Imagine the the description. You was had yeah. some nut stains, but still readable. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Ugh, oh, I, I, man. I would never get a used book book like that. A sex book at that? That's a sex nah. book. So. <laughs> no, nah, I, I would not get no used used one either. So yeah, that that's like me with getting certain CDs and whatnot. Like I would rather get it used if it's very good, or used if it's like brand freaking new. Cause right. like if it just if the joints say acceptable, I'm definitely not paying for it. Now acceptable yeah. is like just saying fucked up barely works. Yeah, right, it, right. It, yeah, exactly, exactly. exactly. No, acceptable is sloppy seconds on a Saturday night. That's what acceptable. Is. <laughs> <laughs> that too. That's what it sound like too. <laughs> the, the nerve of these niggas, man, to be selling this garbage. I know. Yeah. Either like the booklets missing to a CD, or the CD got certain scratches, but it still played good. Like I'm not getting it. Or no. if it got like light, right. light scratches. Like I don't care if it got light scratches. Either. I'm not paying for this. Sure. <laughs> water I, damage too. Water <laughs> damage, yo. That's a water. Da- yeah. Exactly. No, no. Yeah. 
Eat that shit. And sometimes the the new ones cost like real expensive over the used ones. <laughs> but still, I'd rather get a new one over a yeah. one that says used if it says acceptable or just used one that just say good. Because if it just say good, that could mean anything too. It could be like the same way it would be if it just said acceptable. Yeah, I don't trust a lot of good shit either because good be all fucked right. up. Yeah, I, like I said, if it's used, it got to be very good or like new. Other than that, I'm not, I'm not paying for it. Yeah, and unfortunately, than unfortunately for me and Steven and Reg and shit, and I'm pretty sure Chris as well, mm. a lot of shit we want is out of print, yo. So all this oh, yeah, shit definitely. we want is fucking used, unfortunately. Man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're just still sad. Yeah. like the stuff that, that you that, really I'm a Donna book. Been out of, out of print. I've been out of print since the 90s. I'm gonna get my hair braided and shit. My shit long enough, my nigga. My shit looking good. <coughs> braided. Yeah, that shit. I heard about that shit being out of print, man. But I know yeah, because it, they, when it came out, they were selling it only behind the register because they didn't want kids looking yeah, at that book. Yeah, because a lot of people were trying to. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. God forbid, if someone's child get a hold of that. Mm-hmm. Or some, some ghetto, some ass niggas be busting up and public looking at that shit. You never know. <laughs> Here's what I gotta say. If these young mm. motherfuckers can watch reality TV where motherfuckers be fucking all the time, they can read this book. That's all. That's yeah. all I gotta say. Mm. But it, it was it was it was racy for '92. You know what I'm saying? Like that was racy. Yeah, back that then, so. year. Yeah, it was. Because I remember yeah. they were talking about it on one yeah. um, docu series that they were talking about Madonna in that book. Shit, niggas act like. like... And that might. I was just gonna say that, like Dick Tracy era too. Ooh. Yeah. Woo! Yep. Man. Oh yeah. I had that soundtrack too. It was garbage. Throw it away. That fucking that 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 mole on Shorty Face, like yeah. man, that's a bad the, bitch. The one the one fast song she had was Vogue. That was like the last song on that soundtrack. Everything else was like some some fifties shit. I was like, I don't like the soundtrack. V- Vogue sound like just no, that's just like the fag anthem. Nothing against gay people. <laughs> What, like just that ugly hey. dance track for him. Yeah, niggas, niggas doing this crazy. Yeah, shit. yeah like yep. doing the posing. Eh, eh. Yeah. <laughs> it's wild, yo. Oh yeah. What are you gonna say, Rich? Oh, no, I know. I was just, I was just agreeing with what y'all was saying and shit. Mhm. What's your favorite Mike Duet? Oh. Ooh. Oh wow. Um he didn't do a lot of duets though. Like I, no, I wanted to say that the he did do. And I've only got the, like the joint two. with the joint with him and um Biggie um this time around. Yeah. <laughs> love that. Oh that that's one of that's one of my favorites. Um I love it. I'm taking <clears throat> your shit. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Biggie was in the studio with that nigga too, so that's, that's yeah, fine, that's man. dope. That's for me, it, yeah, it, and, and we were talking, yeah. It's just good friends with Stevie for me. I, right. fucking, I, I fucking love that shit. Nice. Oh shit. Mm. Yeah. That, that beat is dope, though. I got fun. Oh, it's fire. Mm. I like, I like, um, him and him and Paul McCartney. Say, say, say. Uh, oh, oh. My. I like that song, man. That, that, that one of my favorite funny. Paul albums. I, I'm all early Paul, but that that's that's right. a good show right there. Yeah, that mm. was dope. <coughs> uh, yeah. mm. I like for me like like oh oh sorry. Oh no, go ahead, Ashley. Go ahead. Yeah, I was getting ready to say like I mean, there's so many good duets he did. Um, I I it's um it's between Scream and The Girl Is Mine with Paul McCartney. Ah, uh, fire for real. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, Mike. What up, my nigga? You know Mike duetted with Shaq too. Oh shit! I didn't know that. The fuck? Yeah, oh, we yeah. Were, yeah, we were talking on the history <laughs> album review. He did a song, um, too, too bad. That's what it was. Too bad. Too bad. And I, and I used to have history too. What the fuck? I, I forgot about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this nigga Shaq be doing song with legends. Niggas don't even know about. Yes. <laughs> but Shaq is fucking trash. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I, I know it was, uh Steven and who was it? Uh, you read? You said you got classes. So like, what the fuck? Hell no! He I threw some... that album way too. Shaq Diesel. I didn't like that. He had some joints that are classics though. I ain't gonna no front. Like, no hook is fire, but his verse is fire. <laughs> That's yeah. Hey Shaq, where you at? I'm right here. Hey Shaq. 
I drink Pepsi because it makes me think. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, baby. The only Shaq song I like was um what's what's up doc that was it. I'll flip yeah, you like I'll a do. pancake flipper. <laughs> the fuck, bro, you can't uh, stop the rain with Biggie though. Oh my, uh, that's, that's yeah, dope. fire, fire. The nigga does in the game over with Rakim. That shit's fire. Yeah, I yeah. know that. Yeah, but man, is he cringe, man? Yeah. <laughs> my uncle, no one hates him more than my uncle. My uncle, like, fuck this nigga, man. Like, gets, I, I love Shaq. I was a big Shaq fan. I love Shaq as a basketball player, but his, oh, oh, his oh, albums my were trash. I, 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 you remember them basketball figurines back in the day? Yeah. Yes, I, yes. I, 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 had, I had Shaq with the Orlando Magic shit on, my nigga. I had that shit. Right. Yeah. You know? Shit. Um, mm. Let me read what some of the comments got to say. I didn't even read them all. <laughs> Watch fucking video. <laughs> What's good, Q? What's good, Mike C? Um, Q said, um, do you have Bad 25 that came out back in 2012? I don't have it, but... I don't have that one. I don't have that one. I got the original Bad. <clears throat> right here. Uh, yeah. I don't know what, yeah, what they you just still, came they still have that. Yeah, they still have that in stock, yeah. Yeah, all I got is the original Bad. I got the original bad too, man. The original bad I had on cassette. I had that one on cassette back in the day. <laughs> What's good, Deb? Deb. What up? What up? He said, I don't listen to MJ music, but I remember when he died like it was just yesterday. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then too, like with the, so much news media and news coverage on him passing away, people kind of forgot that Farrah Fawcett died the same day as well. Right. For real. Yep. So rest yep. in peace yep. for her. Isn't that eerie? And then when then when then when Prince died, the the pro wrestler China, she died the same day as Prince. That's crazy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 they did the same thing. There was like more more media coverage around Prince passing over right. China's right. death. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and today was would have been George Michael's fifty sixth birthday. I forgot to mention that. Yes. A legend. Legend. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Twenty three years ago today, reasonable doubt though. Oh yeah. Classic. Classic. Yeah, man. Reasonable doubt. Mm-hmm. Q said, do you think his legacy is tarnished? I don't think so. No. no. I don't believe those stupid ass motherfuckers. Fuck them niggas. I think they, they, they try to tarnish his legacy twice. I don't think, you know, it's going to happen. Like, he's a legend, so. And, and those niggas got a history of lying. Like, them niggas is fucked. That's why they took the shit off of HBO, because niggas is fraudulent out here, kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll say this, too. Like, the, re- yeah, yeah, the reason I don't think his legacy will never get tarnished is because that man had was a freaking trendsetter. He his yeah. he he did so much for this world, like being a humanitarian for all these causes, him caring about <clears throat> about children the way he does. And the fact that he was like he was tried twice. I will say twenty six years in ninety three the first time and right. sixteen years later with the second trial. But I'm like, y'all really trying to trying to take this man down, trying to Ruined everything he built, and he came a long way to do ever since he was, like, like a little bitty kid, like, eight years old. Are you kidding me? Right. But the kind of legacy he has, get out of here with that. Like, you, y'all can't really take down or try to tarnish what Michael Joseph Jackson set to do. I'm sorry. Y'all just can't. <clears throat> Me and me and Chris did an episode like last year on the same day. Yeah, uh, that was dope, man. Well, check oh, that yeah. out, y'all. You see that shit? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I I like this shit just as much, maybe a little better. This shit is fire, right? Here. Yeah. Proud to be a part of it, Reg. Thank you, Monique. Anytime, y'all. Anytime. Oh yeah, graffiti. Um, Kanye West, Good Life. That's another dope sample. Good Life is fire. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I, I like graduation quite a bit. Yeah, I don't like Kanye, but I love graduation. I love graduation. I love graduation. Yeah, old Kanye better than new Kanye. I'm sorry. Yeah. 
I went on my mm-hmm. uh, lunch break and got that album, man. It was raining outside and shit. Yeah, but that shit. I bought, I bought that and Curtis. Yep. God. Fifty. There's some fire on this, son. There's some fire Ooh. on Curtis, my nigga. Definitely. Yeah, Curtis. Some real. Yeah, Curtis got some heat. Some real grimy street shit. Yeah. Damn. I've been bumping these lately, y'all. I've been bumping these joints lately, yo. Nice. Right. First, two, first two nine albums. Oh, fuck. Fire, my nigga. Yeah, I'm that shit. Look like mad expensive now and shit. Yeah, man. I've been there. Last I heard, it was like thirty bucks. God, even the one that I gave try is out of print. Yep. Shit. Mm. Yeah, man. The non lives. The digi package. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'm trying to get that true album with a lot of thirty bucks for right now and shit, boy. Oh mm. man, yo, my nigga, I was so scared with that album, right? Mm-hmm. Ordered it from Canada. This nigga's like, yo, there's, there's light scratches on it. It's, it's, there's a lot <laughs> of scratches on that shit, my nigga. But guess what? It plays. It, 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 it ripped plays. Perfect. It ripped perfectly. It ripped fine, yo. Yeah. You know. Yeah, but I'm scared to go and getting stuff like that, even though the stuff does have light stra- light scratches. Oh, on I'm right with you. I'm right with you, man. Yeah. That nigga lied to me, yo. Yeah, no <laughs> lie, really. Why you want to live that lie? That's my shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how that nigga gave me that copy of MCA three so come strapped all crumpled up and shit like that. Wow. And that album what? is fucking bananas. Does it play? Nah, I can't play. It was all the pieces were like scattered around and shit. What? Oh the my fuck? god. Yeah, so I cussed them niggas out and y'all like, what the fuck is this bullshit? Wait, <laughs> Wait did, did someone get it for you or you paid for it? I paid for it from Amazon. I got my money back. Wow. Good, good. Cause that I, I would have been I would have been like, uh, can I get my, my fucking money back? Like <laughs> That's some foul shit, yo. Yeah, that really is. Mm. I, I just got mad. a bunch of CDs out here because I took, I got my Michael collection out. So let's see what else I got up in this motherfucker. I didn't, I didn't want to pull everything out. That's why I only showed a few things. <laughs> <laughs> well, the way I got yeah, my yeah, shit yeah. up, I got I pulled, I, pulled, I pulled out all the albums I do got. So basically, I got nine MJ yeah. albums right in front. I ain't got to show Thula. Everybody should have Thula already. I ain't got to show that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I need to get the box that shit, low key. I show Thula. They still I, they got they got it on Amazon. They got it on yeah. Amazon, but I don't know how much it is. Nah, but I want the OG, the OG copy of that shit. Uh huh. What the OG version of Thriller? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I think um I remember going to Target like many, many weeks ago and I think they have it in vinyl on vinyl in there. Yeah. Target started selling vinyls now? Yeah, Target been been selling a oh, wow. couple of vinyls in there. Cause I remember one one time I was out with my mom, I was just looking around and whatnot, and they had that. They had um I think um a Beatles album in there, and I'm like, what? And among other things too, so yeah. Shit. Hey yo, try no, I ain't gonna say nothing now, but wait until y'all niggas see my uh guilty pleasure for the IG C D challenge. Y'all niggas be like, what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> I know I know what it is. Oh man. What is that? <laughs> yo, yo, man, you you see my nigga, and you'll be like a, a half mm-hmm. hour, you see. Okay, bad, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and it's the thing no money, like, I don't I don't have a guilty pleasure because I don't give a fuck what niggas think. I don't, right. you know. Yeah. I, I, I listen to I listen to two clowns that spray fucking soda in the crowd, man. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? I I don't care. But right. you gotta pick. You gotta pick something. It's part of the challenge. So. Right, right. You know. Yeah, I've been kind of slacking these past couple of days and shit. I've been, I've been through some shit, but I'm trying to make these past couple of days and shit. I'm going mm-hmm. through some shit too, y'all. You already know what the fuck's going on with me? I told y'all niggas that. Man. Right. Shit, but, um, mm-hmm. fucking, fucking Deverick said, uh, I remember Madonna mouth to mouth Drake in concert. Oh, yep. yeah, because uh, Drake, Drake said that she smelled like an old lady or some shit. Oh, oh shit, wow, yeah. wow, wow. <laughs> I remember that. Dang, <laughs> oh man, yeah. 
That nigga face looked disgusted too. <laughs> <laughs> he probably used to nigga sticking his tongue in his mouth. That's why. Uh, yeah. I can't stand that nigga. I, I can't fuck with that nigga, man. Lately, lately, like since he did all that stuff like during the NBA finals and whatnot, he just need to really get somewhere and sit down. Like and I, I told I told quit Chris being and, extra. I was telling Chris and Steven, I'm like, yo, when um Shorty played me, my homegirl played me uh light it up with Jay-Z, and that nigga had a dope line saying, Stuntin' like Fredro on my yellow goose. He was making a reference right. to Sunset, Sunset Park. Park. Yeah, 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 man, that shit's hard. I like that line, nigga. Yeah. You feel? I, I had I had that album Thank Me Later. Yeah, that's the only yeah. thing I have. Yeah. Shorty played me that. I was like, oh man, I like this shit. But uh yeah, the nigga don't write it down. He don't write his shit, so I'm like, I oh, fuck this thing. <laughs> Yeah, like I didn't know that fool had some ghost writers. I'm like, what? But he act like he to eat that nigga though. I don't like that shit, man. Exactly. And, and, and push a push a caught a body on that fool. Oh man. yeah, for real. Yeah. <laughs> now I he, love push. Now he wants some more shit from Pusha. Now he dissing them and shit. Yeah, I heard about that. What the fuck, nigga? Crazy. He need to stop. He just need to stop altogether. In the words of Jamie Foxx, go sit down somewhere. <laughs> yeah, please sit down somewhere. <laughs> How about that Benny and Push, my nigga? Ooh. Oh. That's fire. Stabbed it so many times in the pot, you thought OJ done it. Mm. Jesus Christ. Mm. Griselda, man. Yo, ask you fuck with Gris- if you fuck with hip hop, check out Griselda, man. And the illest niggas out. My opinion. Five to fifty. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Ooh, who are these niggas? I think they're all overrated. I think they're all out there. That's just hard. That's just hard. How long they been out? 2015, I want to say. A little before that, because Hitler was Hermes 1 came out in 2012. But like, as like a whole, as a collective, yeah, 2015. All right. I, I got to like listen to this stuff. Like, if y'all got some stuff that, that y'all recommend, I definitely got definitely got to peep yeah, and put that yeah. on my list. Straight grimy punk. Punch you dead in the face, rap. You know, the shit that nigga's been missing is, is back, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna scare your mother, yeah. kind of shit, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if I was to some stuff like that, my mom would be wondering, like, what in the world you listening to? <laughs> A lot of drug dealer music. Yeah? Did y'all, yeah. y'all, y'all see the track list to the, the West Side Gun EP? Fly Guard is an awesome guard? Yep. You remember, you seen that shit? Oh, he got, he got, he got mugs on there. He got fucking yeah. Ray. He got Mad Lib. He got Ray Kwan. Nigga oh, got shit. Ray. Ray and Wes. Oh Crazy. man. Oh Crazy. shit. We got That's somebody else in there too. Yeah, man. J- J- July fifth, yo. I can't yeah. wait for that shit. That shit gonna be fire. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't believe. I can't believe June is almost over, man. Like. Yeah. <clears throat> I can't believe this year is halfway over, man. Yeah, true. There's, that's very true. And before yeah. you know it, the, ho- the holidays will be coming around again. And the new year going to be hitting us before yeah. we even know it. Uh, <clears throat> 2020 already coming, Sean. That's crazy. I know, right? Mm. But yeah. Well, let's hope for the best, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready yeah. for this poison review tomorrow and shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Poison. Yes, BBD. Yeah, the Bell Oh, oh, the oh, oh BBD. Okay, I thought you meant that. Yeah, BBD. That's fucking faggot glam band. Okay. Oh, fuck, though. <laughs> Hell no, I ain't gonna fuck with them. That pussy ass hair metal bullshit. Yeah, I can't fuck with glam metal, man. Listen to Metallica and Slayer and make it that. They were killing shit then. Right. Don't forget GNR, my nigga. Of course. Talk about the, the, the thrash lineup, though. Them niggas, the big oh. four. I don't, like, I don't fuck with Anthrax like that. I like one album. Maybe one <laughs> or two albums. But, uh, yeah, G, I love GNR, man. Got it. You know what I mean? Like, they, they were from the, the, the Sunset Strip. But they, were, they, they were raw. Right. For real. Shit, they- they could they should have had like a way like they should have had like a way more legacy. I mean, 
Like way more career and shit like that, but a lot of shit just happened low key. Yo, Derek, why, why do you call her Ashley Woman? Well, she's a woman, my nigga. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, what? He goes, I, I noticed that he always calls you Ashley Woman, like Ashley the Woman. That's what <laughs> you know what? I, I think when y'all did y'all live video um, last night, he, he said, Hello, Ashley Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lord, you're funny, Dad. <laughs> is, is, there a reason, is there a reason behind that, or is just, I don't I don't know. I'm just kind of wondering. It's just him. <laughs> you know what? It's just him. That's just the way that he talks, that's all. Okay, okay. Yeah, because the first time, no, I kept noticing a lot. And I was like, is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> you said that Drake ruined Ashton Martin. I don't, I don't think so. I still like that. Oh, yeah, that shit is fire. I, I love all that song. With, with or without him, it's, it's fire. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Rip, but but I know I why Reg Rick don't Rick. like. I know why Reg don't like it because of Chrisette Michelle on it. <coughs> oh, oh, Lord. Hey, not that I just don't care for. Him. Yeah, he just don't My care bad, for Rick her. Rick. <coughs> is that off Teflon Dawn? Yeah, it's on. Yeah, it's on there. <laughs> That's his best album. Oh yeah. My nigga, when, when, BF, when BMF came out, son. Ooh. Oh man, that shit was everywhere, my nigga. That's Larry Hoover. Larry Hoover. Oh yeah. Real nigga. I nigga, nigga Styles be saying, got guns from Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> it's hard. Son. Crazy. Uh, that 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 fucking live fast, die young. That shit is. Fine. Love them, yeah. With Kanye. We gotta we gotta do a Rick Ross discography yeah. discussion. Yo, niggas, don't, niggas don't care about Ross. Nah. I think that yo, everyone on the on the channel's a Ross fan, except for fucking uh Steven, I think. Man. You know, <laughs> Ross is a big Ross fan. <laughs> <laughs> Ross Hartley, you know? Oh yeah. My brother, that's my brother right there. Shout out to him. Oh uh, yeah. Mike, you still doing the MF Doom discography breakdown, right? I, I, I'm telling you, I was telling uh, Chris today. I don't know much. To, I can't remember that nigga shit like that. Like, the shit that I only like really, really fuck with from Doom is um Operation Doomsday, you know, uh, M Food, Bad Villainy, and uh, like the Victor Vaughn joints. You know what I mean? That's okay. that's perfect. That's perfect. And like the, the danger, the danger mouse joint. I fuck with that. You know. <clears throat> Well, like, like that King Ghidra and all that, it's kind of a, a blank memory in my mind. Yeah. Don't yeah. Um, I'm definitely going to see which album I'm going to talk about because I was going to save like the collab albums for after the solo albums and shit when we talk about it. But no doubt. Yeah, because there's certain ones I'm not really going to talk about, like the EP he done with him and Gr Grim because I haven't heard that shit yet. Niggas is playing like fucking checkers of chess on the fucking cover? I, I yeah. can't know. Yeah. <laughs> I want to join that shit because I, I I was a fan of Doom because my uncle man, you know like he right. he was down with KMD and Zeb Love and Zeb Love X and mm -hmm. all that shit. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll send you a list by tonight and shit like that. Which I'm going to talk about. And I appreciate Doom. I'm not gonna lie. When I when I heard Rhymes like Doms on the college radio, lost Hell my man. fucking mind. You know? Bobby, hey my nigga, yeah. with the Scooby Doo yeah. sample and shit. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, Question mark song was serious. Oh, oh man! So he's giving props to Sub Rock and shit. Right, Green he's like, Box. yeah, he's like, I, I keep a picture of you with the machete sword in your hand. Oh, that shit's hard, man. Yeah, yeah, my shit, Green Box, man. Ooh, fire with the Tina Marie sample. They slowed. And that's the thing about that album too. The sample choices that they picked, man. Way that they fucking flipped, flipped them. Oh my god, it was amazing. It's a grimy and dusty record too, yo. Yeah. Real like, I know everyone's gonna be on Mad Villain's ass and shit like that. Which I I, I like Mad Villain, but it gets too I much. Like it too. You said what? I, I love that album too, but I'm with you, dog. It's like what the fuck, man. Shit, just and no disrespect to Deb and shit like that, but it just gets too much hype and shit. Are you excited yeah. for Friday, yo? I am. What's happening this Friday again? Gangsta Gibbs and Madlib, man, bandana money. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, I know. I know I'm definitely that, gonna peep that shit. That piece is retarded. Though. And Gibbs is on that that gangster shit. So. Yeah. Shit. But yeah, this was a dope show, y'all. I fucking enjoyed myself with this whole show. Oh, fire. And then, yeah. I might have called it. I might have called it like I got to talk to my mom and shit before she goes to bed and shit. No, no doubt, no All doubt. Right. All right, but thank y'all so much for watching. You know, make sure y'all click that subscribe button. And we got some more dope content on the way. Uh, as usual, this is your boy Reg here. Peace, everybody. Rest in peace, Michael Jackson. Peace out.